Hi everyone, welcome back to Codron YouTube channel. In this video, we will cover how we can build a simple splash screen in Flutter the easiest way. But before diving into that, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please make sure to like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. Turn on. Now let's move to the content. We need to create a Flutter project. So I will open my terminal and here I have created a directory known as CodeWorm where I will create my project and to create the project I will use the flutter create command and then I will give it a name make sure the name doesn't contain uh, other characters than underscore to separate words because hyphen spaces are not allowed so let me create the project you can create it on in your own way using android studio or vs code that's not an issue let me navigate to the project and now let's open it in vs code and we have our project ready here. I will go to my lib directory where all of my code lies. Uh, let me clear this previous code and let me create a new one. I will create a main function. Uh, inside the main function, we have the run app method from material library that is used to render a widget. So I will use the splash screen app widget name. I just need to create this now. So let's create a stateless widget with the name splash screen app. And now here we need to uh, provide the material app, which is uh, which lays the foundation for our app. Here inside home, we need to provide the different screens. So the starting screen will be a splash screen that I will create uh, and that will be shown first. Uh, let's remove this constant. I will get this splash screen in a separate file. Let's give it this name splash screen dot dart. Here, let's create a stateless widget with the name splash screen. And now our uh, splash screen widget has been built, which is just a screen, uh, a widget. Uh, we haven't put any UI in that, so we will definitely add that. But we have this basic setup to run our app also in the test here uh, it was previously my app now it will be splash screen app and now we are good to go uh, let's run the app but i will have to add something here in the splash screen let's add a scaffold and in the body you can write some text and that will be a uh, splash screen and let's wrap it in center to show it in the center now let's open iOS simulator iPhone 15 will work let's close this thing now when our simulator is ready we can run our app I will uh, press control function F5 on Mac uh, you can use your own for Windows to start uh, your uh, start building your flutter app so let's wait for it now our uh, Xcode build has been done. It will be shown here. Yes, we have this splash screen. You can see we have this text that we just set on the splash screen showing here on the screen. Uh, I had this thing, so let me remove it first. <laughs> uh, well, I feel uncomfortable with this banner, so <laughs> I will uncheck that. Now we don't have this. Uh, now we need to design this splash screen. For that, uh, I will put an image here in the center and I will also make it stateful widget because we will be having some state that will change and when that state is changed, we will move to the next screen. Uh, so here we have the init state method that we will be using for handling the uh, splash effect. So let me create a to do here and that will be splash logic and that's how we are going to do this but we need to add an image here uh, i have a file here for this test project i will have to add it uh, in the assets file but i need to create assets folder first or we can also call it images and we have to store it inside this images file so let me move to that let me move that logo to this file we have it here now let's come to the popspec.yml file here we need to uh enable uh enable taking assets from different folders so we have this we have this image directory and 
uh, here we are specifying that anything from the images directory will be considered as an asset and now we can uh, use this uh, image in our app so here instead of the text I will use image uh, image dot asset constructor and here I will provide the path which will be images and logo dot png that's the path to our file and let's see you can see we have it on our screen now so the splash ui has been built now we uh, need to create another file to which we will navigate when our uh, splash is over so inside the lib let's create a home page or dot let's create a statless widget with the name home page and here we will be using a scaffold with just a body and text in the center that will be showing home page so we will set a timer and whenever uh, a specific time that is set is completed this splash screen will automatically move to this home page that will be just showing text in the center so now handle this splash functionality to handle that we have uh, an object in flutter which is known as timer and we will use this timer to handle those things whenever our init state starts here we need to put the splash logic but first we need to initialize this timer and inside this timer we pass a duration and in this duration we set the specific duration that we want our splash to move after so I will set three seconds after three seconds here we will pass a callback that will be triggered so whenever this splash screen is built for the first time uh, init state is the first method that is executed whenever a stateful widget is built so whenever the widget is built uh, this will execute first and we will set this timer uh, when we set this timer uh, it will wait for three seconds and whenever three seconds is complete this callback is going to be triggered we have to put our logic here and that will be the navigation logic so we will navigate to the home screen so that's how it works uh, so let's add navigator to navigate to the other screen and use the push method in the route we need to provide material page route and then use this builder to move to an other screen which will be the home page add a semicolon here and we can also add a comma here to make it look a bit better let's remove these to do's now uh, one other thing to note this timer takes some space in memory so whenever this splash screen is gone we need to dispose it as well because we need to free that occupied memory so here we will use this dispose method which is called whenever our uh, widget is detached from the tree or it has been moved to some other widget so i will use this cancel method to cancel the timer and free the space whenever the screen is moved to the other and we no longer need it so uh, sorry this is the logic for uh, building a simple splash screen now we can test it uh, for testing it let's restart our app and see after three seconds we have been navigated to the home page uh, that's how we handle splash screen in flutter the easiest way uh, you can do something uh, some decorations to your code like you can add these commas here to make it more readable or other stuff you can play around with it uh, but that's the way to uh, build this splash screen uh, the easiest to the easiest way that's it for today's video in the upcoming videos we will be bringing some new amazing content so stay tuned for that see you in the next video goodbye